Hey everybody, this is Frostbite 4 Pinot. Welcome back for more Ocarina Time. In the last episode, we went and finished um, the Forest Temple and got the Forest Medallion. In this episode, we'll be heading through the Door of Time so we can see a very special person. Yeah, that dude. Because he's cool and all that. Yeah, I know we have. I'm, uh, I'm glad you noticed. I imagine that. That's crazy. Over mountains, underwater, through time. How do I, am I supposed to? Oh, so if we put the Master Sword back in the pedestal, I'll be a kid again? Really? Okay. I actually really like this song too. This is a really cool song. So we are learning the prelude of lights, which will bring us back to the Temple of Time uh, whenever we see fit. Really nice and handy little thing that you can get. And, uh, this episode will actually not be making it to the, um, next temple just yet, because I have some things that I would like to get done first. Uh, one of them that I'm sure a lot of you could have pointed out, uh, that I haven't done yet, was that I need to go back to the, uh, to Death Mountain. What an intense explosion! <laughs> I'll say. Alright, let's go ahead and throw this sword into the pedestal. Ha! The light forms around us to create the perfect stew. Chicken stew. So, yes, we are a kid again. Fantastic. So I have some thing I have So I have some things that I would like to uh do before uh we move on. A lot of things, actually. Pretty insane. So, uh, I'll meet you at Kakariko Village, because that is the next spot that we need to be at. We need to go up Death Mountain. And, yeah. Be right back. Okay, we're at Kakariko Village. Very fast travel. Uh, we'll be making our way... Try to dodge this guy so I don't talk to him. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that was lame. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing that so I can just get up here. Um <laughs> But basically we need to head over and get up Death Mountain, which is something that I have not done, and something that I should have done when I got done with the uh, second area. What we need to do is set up the Helion Shield as our main shield, because we are going to need it. And I'm honestly surprised that I have not done this yet. That is where a Golden Skull is. I was trying to remember, because I think uh, a specific thing is in one of these bedrocks. I'm not sure which... But uh, I don't think it really matters right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and head our way up. I'm not in the mood for really changing it to daytime, honestly. I, I'm fine with just kind of moving up. So, we have some ro bombs. And we're going to use them on uh, these rocks here. We could find a faster way to get across, and we probably could. I'm not in the mood, though. So... Go ahead and drop your bomb and let it explode on that. And let's see if we can let's see if we can make this jump. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> Wanted to stop doing that. Um Alright, let's make our way back up. Let's go ahead and hold out a bomb for ourselves. And throw. That was lame. Throw. 
And we get a red rupee from it too, which is really stupid, honestly. <laughs> now, we actually have a rock here that has a hole that we can drop down. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I could use one of my bottles. Go ahead and drop down, and we should have a cow down here. This is one of the most interesting holes in the whole entire game, but basically, we want to set one of our bottles. I'm going to go ahead and use a third one. Uh, talk to this cow, and play, well not really talk to it, just play a Pona song next to it. Uh, this is one thing that I'm surprised that some people don't really know about. What a nice song. <laughs> yes, because cows can totally talk. Refreshing and nutritious milk. So now we have some uh, Lon Lon milk that uh, is to our disposal. Just something really nice to do really quickly if you're uh, running low on health and or maybe you just want to kind of you know st stack up you can go ahead and take that we're gonna go ahead and put our boomerang back there but we're gonna be heading into some dangerous territory here you need to have your helium shield out for this part because we're going to be having rocks fall on us ow what was that bull crap well apparently it's daytime The happiest music while trying to be killed. That's bullcrap that some of them still hit you. Anyways. Uh, we don't need to use our slingshot. Um, go ahead and find the dude right here. Boom! Give us Deku Seed for no reason. So let's go ahead and head our way up here. Uh, you're gonna want to stop on every platform here and take these little buggers out, just cause it saves time. Okay, we've already wasted seven minutes. I'm ashamed. Okay, I've actually been kind of waiting for this point in the game where you get to be Kid Link again because uh, a lot of stuff starts happening uh, by this point that I'm really excited for. But let's go ahead and make our way up. And now uh, we see the owl here. We're not going to talk to him, but we're going to need him in a second. Oh, that actually opened it. Go ahead and head through this uh, passageway. And we were brought to be brought to a great fairy's fountain, which is something that I definitely should have done right after I beat the Dodongo's Cavern, but I didn't do it, and I feel ashamed. But it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do it now. Super cool. And by the way, if you decide to head to any other fairy fountain besides this one, it will not let you talk to the fairy. Look at them boops. Thank god they fixed those in Ocarina of Time 3D. The Grey Fairy Power. A sword technique. Receive it now! <laughs> Force it upon us. Now, good thing that we didn't need this, like, at all in, uh, <laughs> in the Forest Temple, because it was screwed us over. But we are going to need this in the Fire Temple, I believe. I'm not sure, but we received the Spin Attack. But now we will get an Energy Bar, I believe. Yes! Alright, we got a new magic meter. Uh, and we'll be able to bring it up by talking to another fairy later. I'll make sure to try to uh, talk to all the fairies in this game and get all the uh, power-ups and such. So I believe we come back here as adults and we get more magic power. I'm not sure. I can't. Don't vouch me on that, but uh... Yeah, we have magic power now. Which means we have an awesome sword spin. Which means we're going to be super awesome. 
So go ahead and talk to the owl. Fantastic. That's mean. Alright, I'll hold on tight to your talons. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey dude, I I'm, I'm about to fall. Whoa, God! Ah! I almost hit that rock! What are you doing? You're... Uh, I, uh, I think I'm gonna hurl. Uh, uh, Ah! And now we're on top of a building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, what we're going to do now is head back to the castle town. Because we have another great fairy that we would like to see. Yes. Yes, we would. We're going to be grabbing assorted stuff before we uh, head on to like all the new things that we're going to be doing, so... I will be right back. I'm going to be at Hyrule Castle. Okay, we are back in the Castle Town Market. And uh, we will be going to see another Great Fairy. Now, I'm not sure if that there's a Great Fairy in um, the Lake Helia or anything around like the Zora's Domain. I'll look it up uh, before we move on. Because I would like to go ahead and do that now. So, what we're going to be doing is climbing up these vines. And we're going to get something very special today um, from a great fairy. And uh, still love having that. <laughs> we can charge up our power for a, a much better sword attack, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. Not yet. It's not the time. So go ahead and throw your bomb rock thingy over to there. And you open up a hole. So get through. Yep. All I gotta say. Now we are at another Great Fairy's Fountain, so go ahead and make your way over. Play the song again, and get ready for another wild ride. Yeah! Ah, Red Gatorade. <laughs> That's a nice pose. I wonder how Nintendo got away with this. Great Fairy of Magic. A magic spell. Now this is something that will help us out um, much later in the game, but it's really nice to just have now. So, greatly enough that we have it. This is a new spell slash magic item called Dense Fire. Very cool attack that'll uh, help us in sticky situations and a bunch of other stuff that we'll be doing in this game. I promise I'll come back to see you, Great Fairy. Alright, so now I want to figure out if, uh... Let's check this out, we got Dense Fire here. So you say, as you can see, it says MP6. It means it takes out a specific amount of our magic. We couldn't get this before, because uh, you have to talk to the other fairy for one, so you can get magic in the first place. So, um, I'll be right back. Um, so we can do some other stuff. So, I want to make sure I know where this other fairy is, if there is one in Hyrule, in uh, Zora's Domain. So, uh, I will be right back, alright? Doo doo doo! Alright, guys, we are back um, in the Zora's domain, and uh, we're going to go ahead and head up. As it turns out, there is a great fairy, and I knew it, and I know what she's gonna give me. And I was hoping this would be the item that she would give me. Now, it's nothing super special as an item, but it's something that can greatly help depending on, um, like, your circumstances. I don't know if this is ever gonna happen to me to the point where I'm going to need to, uh, Oh, what's up, Rudo? Head back to, uh, you know, get things and save myself from dying in, the, in a dungeon or something. I just don't see it happening. But, uh, you know, there's always precautions. So, what we have here is that we can, um... And this, again, this is something that I should have done way before. And I didn't. So, I was stupid. 
But uh, anyways, go ahead and head your way over to this very small um, island over here. Just something kind of random. Go ahead and throw your rock and prepare for something really cool. Well, that was cool. <laughs> I ended up not exploding that one like you're supposed to. Yeah, open up this giant gaping hole like your mom. Um, go ahead and head in here and play the song. Oh, that was stupid. There we go. I've been trying to get used to doing that song real fast. And uh, we won't be able to do the next Great Fairy Fountain for a good long while. Uh, not until after we beat the next temple. So don't worry about it after this. Now, I know I am showing off a lot of things in this game. And this includes getting every Great Fairy Fountain, most likely. But, uh, this doesn't... I mean, since I'm not getting all the heart pieces, um, it doesn't really get to tell you... I don't really get to tell you everything that's in this game, which is a little bit saddening. But, you know, just... You gotta move on. Bam! So we get Feroar's win. What this does is that, uh, when you are in a dungeon, you can warp yourself back to the beginning of a dungeon. Or anywhere in the temple that you set up a warp point. So maybe if you don't want to do... If you don't want to do, like, a, uh... Some backtracking to another place, you could set that up for yourself and go back. Uh, sadly, I don't know too much about some of the next temples that we're heading up to. So I won't know if we have to backtrack too much. And even if I do know we're backtracking, uh, it doesn't really bother me all too much. But uh, that is all the Great Fairy Fountains we can get right now. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Temple of Time, become Adult Link again, and we're going to go somewhere uh, pretty cool. So, uh, can I remember how this goes? There we go. <laughs> Just trying to remember that one. So I'll be right back, guys, um, and we're going to head over to something super special. So, BRB. Okay, so now that we are back out in Hyrule Field as our older selves, because we, put, we pulled the Master Sword out of the pedestal, that's what you're supposed to do, we are going to head over to Kakariko Village for some uh, very surprising things. This is where the story kind of picks up, like, really hardcore after a while. Like, some major things will start happening, and some very suspenseful things will start uh, beginning in these towns. So, let's check this out. Are you ready? Is nothing going to happen? Um... I guess not. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be here? Uh, hold on a second. Okay, I guess it turns out I was going in the right direction. It just it didn't look like it to me. But uh okay. Let's go ahead and help here. Going up to Death Mountain. Is that what Nav Navi says? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Going up to Death Mountain. Like I uh, originally planned to. Just kind of freaked out a bit because I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene before I headed up here. Maybe it's before you go to the Forest Temple. I'm not sure. But now we have these boulders trying to kill us. So watch out for those. <clears throat> the weird thing is, is that you can actually go into Dodongo's uh, cavern as a dungeon, as Adult Link. It's really odd. I'm not sure why they implemented it into the game, but whatever. So, go ahead and uh, take your way over here. What is in here? I want to I wanna find out. We have a bomb. We only have three left. Lame. Chest. What does it have? Rupees in it or something? Yeah. What a waste. 
What a waste. Okay. Go ahead and head in here. Whee! Now we are back into Goron City. Now we want to find where this guy is rolling around. Right here. Hey! Get back here! Hey! What are you doing? Get over here. Can I, like, Deku? Dude! Oh my gosh. Stop it. Child, get back here. Can I use a hook shot on him or something? Or, or something else? Got it. I don't work for Ganondorf. Oh my gosh. Let's uh, pull our arrows out and see if that works. Get back here! Am I supposed to use my ocarina? <laughs> I feel really stupid right now, guys. No! Stop hitting me! I do not work for Ganondorf! Get back here! I swear I'm supposed to use a bomb on him or something. Child! Get up! Okay, come here. No! Oh my gosh, I will be right back. There, I finally got him. I'm not Ganondorf's servant. What? What? Link? You're Link? Huh? Took me forever to hit you with a bomb, Link. Yeah, my name is Link. Yeah, I am. Oh, Darinia had a baby? Oh, well, that's cool. Awesome. That's great that you want to meet me. <laughs> okay. Okay. A dragon, huh? Poor kid. That's crazy. This is like the first time that you actually have a choice in like <laughs> RPG style of actually talking to this kid. It's very weird. Boom. So, a a hammer, huh?
Let's ask about the Gorons. The Fire Temple. That must be our next place. Oh, I'm sorry. That is pretty bad. Vagia. Sounds like vagina. Well, that's that's nice of him. A heat-resistant tunic? Well, there you go, everybody. We have gotten the Goron tunic, which is what we'll be using for the next temple. And that opens up stuff for us. Yeah, so that'll be it for this episode, everybody. We have done a lot. We have gotten ourselves a new tunic. And uh, three uh, fairy fountains has gotten up some new stuff. So we have a lot of new things, which is pretty cool. Let's go to check out this tunic. Oh, yeah, baby. We're red. Red hot. So, in the next episode, I'll see you guys. We will be going into the fire temple. Super crazy. So. I was from the known, I'm somebody else. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.